So today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can mix and match different colors because I often get people sending me palettes and they wanna ask me to pick out which combinations to work with. So I wanna show you guys today how you can use some terminology in order to find different combinations for any eye makeup look that you wanna create. So I know that this can kind of look really complicated, but we're gonna break it down into sections to help you figure out what eyeshadows work together. Let's just move these to one side. For any type of makeup look, all you really need to do is to have light, dark, and medium. Your lighter shade, your contour shade, and then a medium tone, which is your transition shade or a mid-tone. Using my own skin tone as a guide, we wanna have a highlighter shade that's at least one shade lighter than our skin tone. We then have our contour shade, which should be at least one shade darker than the skin tone, but can be anywhere up to like three or four shades darker. Once you found these two, you then wanna find your transition shade or your mid-tone. This should be an in-between of both of these. It's almost as if you took these two shades, mixed them together, you'd get this. So that's why these three work really well together. So one, two, three. So using this combination of a light, a medium, and a dark, you can find lots of other combinations. This light kind of purpley tone, we have a dark purpley tone, and then we have an in-between shade. The most important thing is that this in-between shade should pretty much be a matte finish. These can be either or, so they can have satin, shimmer, whatever works for you. But you can also mix and match these. So this doesn't necessarily have to be these two shades combined. You could also go in for something a little bit more neutral and this still works across the board So even though these two shades mixed together wouldn't create this shade It still works because this is nice and neutral and it would still work and blend in the crease for us So either of those would work with this particular combination So it doesn't necessarily have to be like bang 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 It can be a different variety of shades as long as you have a light a medium and a dark. Once you have a basic understanding of the one, two, three, you can then start adding in more shadows. For instance, using a green. So this would look really nice with it too. We still have this in the crease area. We then have our highlighter shade and our contour shade, but now we also have some color in there too. And all of these would work really nicely together. Alternatively, you could try maybe even a purple tone in here. This would look really nice together too. Even just sticking within the same family, but have a little bit of shimmer to it because these have been matte so far. So you can apply this under your lid, you've got your highlight, your mid-tone and your contour. So whatever kind of combination that you want, as long as you have your basic understanding of your one, two, three, it makes everything so much easier to figure out. So let's stick to the neutrals. We have our light medium lid shade or color, and then we have our contour. And let's add in what I refer to as fade shades. So fade shades are basically quite vibrant colors that you can mix in with your palette in order to bring out a slightly different tone. So we could add in a little bit of yellow into this look and then this would create a different type of tone. So we would create more of like a mustardy yellowy tone. Or we could go for more of an orangey color. So this would bring out more of like an orangey rich tone within the rest of the shadows and the rest of the look that we're gonna do. Or you could add in a slightly pink tone. So this would once again completely change it up, adding in a slightly different tone and adding in a different type of fade. Alternatively, you might wanna use your blush instead. So if you have a blush that you would use with this particular eye makeup look, you could pop that in. As another example, let's just swap out our lid color and pop in this green. So a great little fade shade for this would be this one. You can see how this would pick up on the slight little yellow tone within this beautiful green. Alternatively, we could pop in this purple tone purple tone and then we could use the pink to pick up on the pink within the purple. That can be a nice little combination. So that's a great way of kind of using your basic colors, your one, two, threes, your fade shades to then bring out any sort of like lid colors that you prefer. So you might come across this combination in a palette and think, well, how do any of these work together? But now that you've broken them down into sections, they do all work together. Let me put together a few different combinations. So some highlighters. So I have a mixture of some that have a shine to them, some that are matte. Let's do our contour, so deep purpley contour. Maybe even a black, maybe this one here. Then we have this one, so we could go for something with a little bit more of a pink tone in it. Those are our light and our dark. For our mid-tones then, it's somewhere in between the two. So for this one, it's in between the two. For these two, if you mix those together, you get like a gray, so we could go for 
a gray color. A little bit of warmer shade in here. I like to add in a little bit of warmth sometimes. These two mixed together would should give you this combination. This space in between that we can use for lid shades. So we could go for like a purple with this one. For this one, we could go for maybe a little bit more of like a moon kind of gray. This combination will look great with a green. And then this combination will look great with this sort of vintage rosy pink. So there you have a combination again, and then you can start to add in your fade shades as well. So hopefully now you should have a better understanding on how to put shadows together. If you wanna see how to actually apply them, I have so many videos on that, so you can check them out. And I have new ones coming every Monday. Hit subscribe if you're new here, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. You've been watching The Makeup Chair and I'll see you in the next one. A monster has arrived. A very muddy monster. I think you need a bath, Peppers.